55. 40. 45. By the tens and by the hundreds. 240. 190. 320. They're counting thousands of sandhill cranes. That's 320. 170. This avian arithmetic is conducted by the Arizona Game and Fish Department. The goal is an estimate of the total number of sandhill cranes that spend their winters in southeastern Arizona. Go 200 on that. Each year, around the first week of January, teams of Game and Fish biologists and volunteers are stationed near several locations in southeastern Arizona where sandhill cranes like to roost. 120. 120. Early each morning, waves of cranes leave their roosting sites in search of food, a perfect opportunity to count them. The waves start in rather, 35 in rather small flocks of 5 or 10 or 50. But as the morning progresses, the waves of cranes become numbers so numerous that we can no longer accurately count individuals. So we're estimating them typically in blocks of 10. But sometimes you'll have so many cranes fly over all at one time that you start estimating in blocks of 50 or even 100. The estimates are fairly consistent from year to year. So that tells us that we're probably not that far off. And this location is always the busiest. It's near Whitewater Draw, the primary roosting site for sandhill cranes in southeastern Arizona. It's a 1,500-acre property, almost two and a half square miles, owned and managed by the Arizona Game and Fish Department. It's also one of the Audubon Society's globally important birding areas, a mix of wetlands and grasslands that support an abundance of birds and other wildlife. It's awesome. I've never seen so many birds in all in one spot ever. I like to take pictures of birds. And in Arizona, there's an abundance of birds uh, that we can find. Um, that's why we're here. Of course, the big draw to whitewater draw is the sandhill cranes. Yeah, they're flying off. There's something's caught their attention. They were coming in like 30, 50, 70 in a flock, you know, different from different parts on the sky, and they were just so awesome to watch come in. People come from far away to see them. We're from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Well, I'm from Escondido, California. My friend Darwin is from Tucson. Get a lot of locals, get a lot of uh, people from all over the world. We are from Victoria, British Columbia in Canada. Yeah, we on average will have 5,000 sign-ins in a year's time. And uh, that's not even close to how many people actually come here, but that's pretty much the average of what we get every year. Gosh, there one year I listed all the different countries that that were in the signing sheets and it was just amazing. There was countries I hadn't even heard of. Can you get some good shots? Uh, yes, I think so, yeah, yeah. Got, give me a lot of opportunities anyway. The cranes start showing up in October and they stay through most of February. They come from the northern United States, Canada, and as far away as Siberia. They're a lot of fun, uh, especially when the wind's blowing. They cup their wings way up high and they just kind of parachute in. It's pretty fun to watch them. Jim Garrett gets to see the cranes come and go. He lives at Whitewater Draw and takes care of the place for game and fish. A lot of weed eating, a lot of mowing around, especially in the summer, of course. He's constantly working on habitat improvement projects. In dry years, that sometimes includes pumping water to keep the wetlands wet. He takes great care to maintain this place. After all, Whitewater Draw is a valuable tourist attraction that's important to the local economy. We bought a, a bird book today so we can start to understand what these, all these different kinds of ducks are and uh, other birds that we're seeing. It's a hit with wildlife watchers and with outdoorsmen who enjoy hunting in designated areas of the property. 65. This annual survey of sandhill cranes enables game and fish to monitor population trends and implement sound wildlife management policies. Crane numbers have been steadily increasing since we started counting them in, uh, in the early 90s. The department acquired this property around 1997. 
and back then I think we were counting around 5,000 sandhill cranes and that number has steadily but rapidly increased to the current 20,000 cranes that we've been counting every year for the past several years. 25? 25. Starting to slow down a little bit now. It's probably about 7.40 in the morning. After the last of the cranes has flown, it's time to crunch the numbers. The tally takes place back at the bunkhouse at Whitewater Drive and it doesn't take long to get a final count. 22,577. That's 22,577 cranes at Whitewater Draw. Another 4,039 were counted at four other sites for a grand total of 26,616 Sandhill cranes wintering in southeastern Arizona. That number's down a bit from 2013, but it's really close to the average for recent years. It all adds up to a lot of cranes and some very happy people who get to enjoy another amazing Arizona outdoor experience. It's really a treat to be here.